Good morning, ladies and gentlemen in Grants community. This is Abin Rio coming your way today, 27th of May, 2023. I come to suggest ways that could help disbursement to progress or to proceed immediately. Due to the demand of data by international friends, now, I want to suggest because of time and be due to technical issues, app issues or network that may not allow, some people are yet to get the code, that may not allow a full data upload on the app. There are four data sources I want to suggest that could be used immediately to arrive at disbursement immediately also. There are four data sources that we have presently that can be used to arrive at disbursement immediately. Now, since the international community is talking about seeing the subscriber database that UAAG says they want to disburse to, they want to see that subscriber database and with the fact that it is not and may not be okay at this time to give the subscriber data base to a third party because it's only uaag that should one require such things not a third party now i would suggest since they want to see a proof or see a document database or you know that they can use that first of all uaag should immediately enroll them uaag should immediately sign them up on the uaag app uaag should immediately sign them up international friends up on the uaag app so that they have only view privilege ability to view the data because we cannot submit soft copy or hard copy at this time there's a lot of trust that is required there's a lot of sincerity we are yet to find in this whole thing so to be on the safer side let everybody be on one platform the international friends should be signed up by uaag on the uaag app so they can view they have view privilege on the data that is being uploaded by the ngos now the four sources of data i want to suggest that they can use immediately so that disbursement can start immediately also are this first of all data base was used to bring in this grant the uaag grant that is a data source they can use to know okay have a projection this is the number of people that could be used but since that figure may be less okay and you cannot project on a figure that is less number two data source that can be used which we have is the projected data estimation that is the the, the, the data estimation uh, subscriber uh, estimation that all the ngos applied for the ngos had applied that they could pay or disburse a set to a certain number of bundles they applied for that figure that is the figure that they should use the second data source that could be used to determine how much should be allocated to the uh, ngos is a workable very workable data source now the third data source would be or the third data source yes would be the actual data uploaded the actual data presently uploaded 
on the app, which acts as a, a data availability proof. The database that is being uh, presently, uh, you know, uh, 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 added up on the app would be proof that there is availability of this data that there is availability of this data even though work is ongoing because of the like the tech issues the app issues network issues the code issues that maybe all the ngos do not have but as more ngos keep uploading data that serves as proof of availability of data so not just the projection that the ngos made in the application are not just the database that was used to bring in these grants, but the actual availability of data on the app, which by the viewing privilege granted to the international friends, they can view, they can see that actually data is available. Even though it's not complete, that is not a problem because we cannot wait for it to be complete with all the technical issues we are talking about. We cannot wait for it to be completed. So that, but that is a proof that data is available. They will be seeing the figures ramping up on the app that more data is being supplied. Now, the fourth data source is the bank statements. The bank statements back up or checks or proof that the NGOs actually disbursed, which is supposed to act as the actual amount disbursed to who and who. Those proofs of payments in statements, bank statements, that is supposed to be returned to UAAG. All right, will is the number four data proof. So with these four sources, we have those four sources right now to proceed to demand for disbursement immediately. In that anything else to say, maybe let the data be complete on the database or on the UAG app. If there is such thing as let the data be completed on the UAG app, then we now can know that the international friends are all a bunch of liars and should be, should be taught the lesson of the day immediately. If with these four sources of data, they say that they must be complete upload with all the technical issues and all of that, network issues, code, which can happen anywhere, not to talk of Nigeria, which we don't even have database in this country. But we have now four data sources that could be used to make sure disbursement continues very well, you know, propelled. If they still say it must be complete on the app, then they are deliberately delaying us and delib deliberately delaying the masses and should be taught the lesson of the day. Now, on this note, I say again, that the four sources of data can help progress disbursement immediately. One, the database that brought in this money could have always been used. If they needed proof, it could be used. So the excuse of saying data now is almost like a lie. So there's a database that brought in the grant. That is a database they can use. But because maybe that database is small, let them use the projected database that all the NGOs applied for to be able to pay when they applied to UAAG. They said they will pay a certain number of clusters or bundles or subscriber base. Let them use that figure as a projection to work with the grant that is available on ground. That it will help because they can work with the lower figure. So this figure could be higher, which is what can be used. Now, let the actual data upload on the app save as the proof proof of availability of this data which day the international friends will be seeing it uploaded and be viewing it that okay there is actually proof of availability of data it's not just projection there is data available but because of technical issues network issues app issues code issues 
that could be a problem and keep causing more delay, it just acts as a proof that is availability of data. So we can now use, or they can now use and rely on the bank statements that will be coming in, and which is actually the responsibility of UAAG and not international friends anymore. The bank statements of what and who was actually disbursed to at the end of the day by UAAG or through the through the NGOs. Those proofs will be sent back to UAAG and then they'll be as the final proof of who got what, who got what. These proofs of data, these data sources could be used immediately because they're available. And no one should use any gimmick to push this disbursement any further because we have these four data sources now that could be used to determine how this grant can progress immediately. Disbursement can progress immediately without requiring all manner of, you know, excuses to say that all data must be completed. Data must not become because we have challenges already in the system. And that's so if, if we wanted to use email and it delayed us still now, and then we have issues with the app, we have issues with, with code, we have issues. So those should not be used as excuses. At this point, let these four data sources be used. So please, I want to suggest to all Grand Pressure Group of Nigeria, who the, you people have helped us massively and helped greatly. Please push on this. Demand them to immediately pro, you know, be signed up on the UAAG app for viewing purposes so that they can view because we cannot give them our data. We can't. The mistake of same shouldn't happen here. Supplying data and going to Abuja to sign and that was it. Till today we have not seen any money from same. So giving them data in this 21st century technology and AI, whatever technology, those, those NGOs already supplied to them with this database supplied to them, they can combine anything and then they get a proof that this money is disbursed already. And they go away with it. We cannot trust anybody at this time. So let everybody come to the same platform on the UAAG app. The international friends sign up for viewing purposes to so because they want to see the data that we say we have and they will actually see that data is being uploaded that is proof of data availability now the other data source is now that the the, the database that brought in the grant and then the database the database of what ngos apply to uaag projecting that they can pay this number of bundles then finally, the proof of bank statements of who was actually paid. These four sources of data can be combined to give us disbursement immediately. These four sources of data now can be combined without any further delay. Anything outside this, honestly speaking, the international friends have duped us of millions and should be taught the lesson of the day immediately. And if they give any further excuse of wanting the, the, the app to be uploaded with all the database, then they are, they are liars and should be taught the lesson of the day. We have four data sources, I repeat, four data sources that can be used to advance disbursement immediately. In fact, this weekend, as initially was projected, that 20, May 29 shouldn't come without disbursement. The four, I repeat in closing, are one, the database that brought in this grant. Two, the database that each NGO had used to uh, the projected database that each NGO had applied to tell UAG that this is the number of people or the number of bundles they can pay or disburse to. Three, the actual data upload on the app as proof, as proof that there is data availability. So they shouldn't be talking about data if they want to see data. Now, because they are on the app, they will see the data proof that there is proof of availability of data. Now, if there is any 
question on exactitude, on exactitude as to the totally precise number that is disbursed to. The bank statements, the bank statements after disbursement will bring the proof, will bring the proof, which is what already UAAG had projected to use. So there shouldn't be any question of wanting to come take database now is very suspicious. Subscriber, day, which is not the business of a third party, that's just the business. In fact, it's the business of the NGO. Whereby the final document that will prove, the database that will prove who was paid, who was not paid, are the bank statements all the NGOs are, supp are supposed to return to the UAAG to UAAG to be able to account for how the money was spent or disbursed. With this, there should be no further excuse of that disbursement not happening. Please, I suggest to all Grand Prison Group, move on these four sources of data, demand that these international friends be immediately registered on the app, on the UAAG app, signed up on you to view for viewing purposes, given viewing privilege to see the actual data that is being uploaded. And data is available, but we cannot give them this data hard copy or soft copy. We can't at this time because we have a lot of fears at this time. So when they when they are signed up, then they can use the projected number of uh, uh, the projected number of uh, bundles that were to be disbursed to by the NGO and also use the bank statements to be like the balance. If there is anything missed in between, the bank statements will sort that out. So there is no question of this. Any further thing, any further demand in this, the international community is not being sincere with us and they don't mean any business. They are not working, they are not working in our favor and they should be taught the lesson of the day. That's how I will end it. I wish that they could, you know, these four strategies could be immediately adopted so that this weekend they can stand up now and disburse. With this now, there is no fear at all about how this money will be spent. UAAG is cleared about this because they will have the bank statements to prove. The international community would have seen the projected uh, 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 database and would also, if they need to, if they need to, they would, the bank statements will clear everything. So nobody's going to run away with the money. This is how we should progress from now and demand for disbursement immediately. Thank you and have a great weekend ahead. Thank you.